Hello, welcome back uh, to the ABAP Objects Refresher. We're coming now to Module 5, the last module. Another variation on polymorphism and inheritance. What is inheritance? We kind of already saw that in the case of um, when we talked about the modeling of UML and so forth. Basically, um, when you think about cars and trucks and everything and, and vehicles, you already see that there is a generalization uh, or abstraction relationship, that a vehicle is an abstract form of uh, different types of vehicles, for instance, car, truck, and so forth. And so um, in a similar, this is a kind of a similar way, like interfaces, that you can say, I have an abstract definition of what the vehicle can do, but I can have different... Um, specializations of it. The difference between interface and inheritance is that you can also, uh, there is actually code involved and not just an interface definition. So inner inheritance really is a means to implement conceptual hierarchies and really also, uh, that's an important difference, share common code between classes. And uh, a superclass, that is the like the above class, implements characteristics that are common to all its subclasses. And subclasses are specializations that can do more than the superclass. So in this case, for instance, uh, we have LCL vehicle with their methods refuel and drive distance. And we have a sports car, a monster truck, and a garbage truck. And they will for sure implement these and not just have to implement the same way because this is what we saw also in the example that, um, you know, basically truck and, uh, and car had the same implementations for uh, certain methods, and you kind of don't want to do that. You want to have, uh, you don't, don't want to duplicate code. So this way you can say, well, the implementation, what is the same for those? I not only have the definition uh, isolated out, but also the implementation. So the refuel method and the drive distance is the same. This means also, of course, the attributes that go with it, um, they can then and should be defined on the superclass. And now you can define a subclass. And a subclass, it's called inheritance. It inherits all data and behavior, so data and methods from the superclass. And you can access, but also more importantly, redefine or extend components of the superclass. So you, a subclass can, say, define an additional method, or it can change the implementation of refuel. So for instance, if I have in the big truck there, I have two tanks. Um, you know, and the typical trucks actually do actually on both sides, or have a, a reserve tank on something. So refuel maybe uh, has two tanks to fill and two variables, and you want to keep the the value, the level uh, of the fuel uh, separately. So you need two status variables, you need just two two variables to to keep the get current tank level, and the refuel method will be a little different. So you have to add some data and change the implementation of a method. So and changing the implementation. Uh, is called redefinition. So in the truck case, for instance, you would redefine the refuel method and um, also drive distance maybe have to adapt it. Um, what is important that class and static components cannot be redefined. So the static things are always above, um, they're kind of outside of the, of the uh, inheritance game. And a class can only inherit from one class. So if you're familiar with other languages like C++, that allow a multiple inheritance, um, above objects doesn't do that. Now let's look at a code example and how this really looks like, and then you see also the, how it all works together. So we have a parent class here, and we um, have a, a vehicle definition that um, has a me public meth section, again, with refuel. Now we have something new. It's a new visibility level, um, and that is called protected. Protected means whatever comes there is visible not to the outside, but to me, of course, in the class itself, but also to subclasses. So now we have to distinguish between what is visible to subclasses in the protected section or private really only for this class and not the subclasses. And so since we want the current tank level to be visible in the subclasses, we have to put it in the protected section or rather maybe change the private to protect it so that we can use in this variable in inheritance. Now the um, implementation is the same. You don't see any difference there. But let's look at a subclass. So now let's make a subclass truck that is 
inheriting from LCL vehicle. We see this here in the red box. This is the new syntax. So the class definition of truck says I'm inheriting from LCL vehicle, which means I'm kind of, again, logically importing everything here. This is already included in here. Uh, in in the statement logically, so I have all the methods, including the implementations and all the data definitions. But I also changed something. I mentioned the refuel may have to be redefined, and so I can take a method that is defined by the superclass, in this case refuel, and I say I do a red redefinition. So you don't specify the method signature again. You just say give the name this method I want to redefine, which means. I have to implement the method. I can implement it again. And so looking down, we see here in, this, in the next red box that um, to fill up the main tank, I will call the superclass. Oh, actually, I have to start here. The method refuel, I have a reserve tank. And if I should also refuel, refill the reserve tank, um, then I have to add some liters to the reserve tank and otherwise I will refuel the main tank, but the refuel of the main tank is already implemented above, so I have to just call the method in the superclass, and there's this predefined um, kind of pseudo variable, super, which is basically a reference to yourself as far as the instance is concerned, if you look here, but you can call the refuel method of your superclass. If you call refuel here, you get this one. If you call super refuel, you call this implementation of refuel. So you can call the implementations of the superclass that way. So whatever code is kind of right for everyone and that you want to reuse in this case, um, you can call that way and otherwise you can change the implementation in the subclass. So what is uh, the logical, what are the logical points here? Subclasses can define further attributes and methods. You can add things really. You can access all components of the superclass that are protected or public. And you can redefine methods of the superclass that are protected or public. So redefine means you change the implementation. And subclasses can, of course, call the implementation of the parent class methods using the super variable that is shown down here. Now we want to use this. And uh, yeah, if you want to... You, do the exercise, you definitely have to look at the syntax examples here. Um, use this to do the following thing. We want to have move common code to a superclass. So we keep the interface, but we want to change the exercise, uh, the code of exercise 3 um, to exercise 4, and we want to change it a little bit. So first of all, we create a class LCL vehicle that implements the LIF vehicle interface, which contains the three methods. Yeah. And so in, um, then we move data and implementation of the interface methods from the car to the vehicle level and make them protected. So which means that we kind of create this vehicle um, class which can do most things that are generic. And you see that here in the diagram we have an interface. The class implements the interface, but we have still car and truck we want to deal with. So the cars and trucks implement, I'm sorry, uh, uh, inherit from the vehicle. And I just realized that we forgot those, the little triangle here that should be here as well, because the cars, the car and truck um, inherits from, and those also denoted by a triangle. So you define these classes as subclasses of the vehicle. Now, since it's important to note that the existing interface method implementation and the interface's statement are no longer needed because they already implement it in the superclass. So you don't need to specify any, anything with the interfaces, which means also, in, as, an, uh, as an implication, you can take a LCL car object and assign it to an interface variable. It itself did not implement the interface, but the superclass did. And so you can talk to the car through the interface because the superclass implemented that as well. So it's just a very powerful thing. It's it, basically all this stuff is inherited from the uh, LCL vehicle class. But now comes uh, what's really important about inheritance because the truck can do more. It has a reserve tank that has its own capacity. It must be refueled as well. And it needs to own, it's, get tank level method because the refuel 
um, the, the tank level is only for the main tank, right? So here in the diagram you see there is a refuel. I have to redefine it because the, you know, I, the method does something different, but it's important. Get reserve tank level is a new method. So that's added here and it's only available in the truck, not here and not here. Not in the car, not in the vehicle. Then finally create some vehicles, drive some distances and exercise this code uh, in a little bit. Just play with it. Good luck.